Hey everyone, today we are here at the Ponte Winery and Vineyard Inn. Gonna head on into the tasting room and show you guys around this beautiful place. So, come on in. Hey there, how are you? As you can see, the setup inside this barn is quite lovely. You got wine tastings over there and the gift shop here in the center where you can roam around and then on days where it does get busy you can see over here another sign for more wine tastings and I have seen it get <laughs> that busy in here before so um, pretty fun place to come inside and let's go ahead and let's head on out show you around the property a bit more you got the restaurant over there i'm not going to be eating here today but we'll come back another time and shoot a video there but let's head on into this lovely courtyard area Through here we have one of the wedding ceremony areas. Pretty beautiful view there. It does look like it is for a smaller, medium-sized wedding, of course. And let's go up the steps here to give you a better view of property as a whole. It is a pretty windy day, but all in all, still just beautiful view of the area. Nice little panorama action. Here we have the members section for Ponty. Back here at the restaurant on the other side. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a more in-depth peek, even though, like we said before, we're not going to be doing any uh, lunch here today, and they have a wedding later. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you this menu right now. here are seasonal so what is available today may not be here when you come so just make sure to check ahead if you want but really they do have great options here we'll make sure to do a bit more in depth of the restaurant another time for all of y'all all right
here is their wine list. As you notice, they have glass, bottles, and a tasting, which is six wine tastings for that $30 as well. Well, it's such a lovely day that I decided to sit outside to enjoy my nice glass. The guy behind the bar was kind enough to give me a few little like mini splashes before I committed to a single drink and also threw in these lovely breadsticks as well for me to munch on <laughs> with it. Uh, I tried out a couple including the sparkling rosé and the Pinot Grigio. Neither were really what I was feeling at the moment. Ended up going with their 22 Moscato. Uh, it has hints of orange in it, a little bit of peach, and really with the nice day, I mean, it, it just felt like, you know, the right thing to do. So cheers. Oh yeah, so definitely more like a sparkling wine than a traditional Moscato, but also delicious for a nice spring summer day. I definitely recommend it. Uh, yeah, but feel free to try for yourselves. Enjoy. Now we're over at the hotel here and this is a nice, lovely place to stay. My sister actually had her wedding here and we ended up staying in the rooms. Let's go ahead and show you around. Won't have access to a room today, but I can at least show you a bit of the property here. Here we are out in the courtyard area. Lots and lots of room to sit down. And over here is their main wedding ceremony area. You can see how lovely it is in the background. Rooms to the side, so uh, you do have people being able to come out and view the ceremony as they're just walking out. Uh, not my style, per se, but, you know, again, look at this beautiful view of the lakes, the behind it, the mountains. standing on the altar.
for those that do choose to stay at this lovely inn. Real nice and easy walk for you to go over to the winery and the wine tasting area. You just take this nice little path right here. Provided it's not a super hot day, it is a nice, lovely stroll as you saw, and not too long at all. And look back where we started before. And that's the that wedding is in full swing, so <laughs> gonna get on our way. Don't want to be bothering anybody's night at all. Giving you one last look at the end from the side. Thank you all for joining us for this tour of the winery and inn. We hope you enjoyed it and feel free to check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe.